Right, folks, welcome back to another video. And uh, what do you know? We've got a little bit of sunshine here at the moment. Um, for those of you who, who obviously won't know where I am, I, I'm on the southwest coast path this evening between Trevellis Cove, which is behind you, and Perham Porth, which is behind me in that direction. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it, but just off out in the distance is a, is a large sea stack, which is actually Carter's Rocks over at uh, Holywell Bay. But I've come out for a little bit of a wonder here this evening. Um, just have a bit of an explore really and see what I can find. Um, already found this sea stack down here, which I'm, I'm planning to shoot. I'm just gonna have a, a look at that in a moment and see what I can do with it. But um, hopefully we're gonna get some nice light. There is a bank of cloud by the looks of it on the horizon. I don't know if you can see it going up the coast there, um, particularly where you can see it up there over the headland behind, behind me and, and Carter's Rocks up there. Big swathe of cloud up there, but we have got some high altitude cloud up here. Uh, the direction that the, in that direction there are some gaps in the cloud obviously the sun is shining at the moment there is there are some gaps there in the cloud we might get some nice light uh, at sunset um regardless we're going to take some photographs we're going to make the best of it see what we can do you can only shoot what's in front of you so um this this sea stack down here this cove is my my first subject of the evening so i need to get that set up um I think in order to shoot this, I'm gonna to have to switch my lens from my 24 to 105 to my 16 to 35, because I don't think I'm gonna get um, the whole shape of the bay in that shot. Otherwise, I think I need the, the wide angle lens. So we're gonna show the, the 16 to 35 mil a little bit of love this evening. Uh, and we're certainly gonna kick off with that one. Um, I've just got to decide in the moment what filters I'm gonna use, but we'll go through that once I've got everything set up. So um, I'm gonna end that there for a moment. I'm gonna set the camera up and then we'll come back and have a little chat about the composition and what it is we're trying to do, what filters we're using uh, and the look that we're, we're trying to go for. Um, some nice movement down there. I think there's going to be a long exposure on this this evening. So let's face it, there's water involved and I, and I love a long exposure with this water involved. So um, yeah, I'm going to get all set up and then we'll have a look and see what we can do. Okay, so got the camera all set up. Uh, I've switched over to my 16 to 35 mil lens. That's given me a nice wide angle view of the, the bay um, just to get that lovely shape in in front of me. Also, one of the other things I wanted to do, which I wasn't going to be able to do with the 24 to 105, is to actually get some of this foreground in. Um, again, just to give it that shape when you're actually looking at the image so that it, it almost frames the image. So you've got the, the, the shape then of the cliffs in front of me. I've got the headland over here and, I, and I've got the shape of the cove around this side with the, 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 the cliffs falling away over there. Now you may notice that um, the holder is set up turned towards the cliffs and that is because I am getting quite a lot of light reflecting back off of the cliffs over there and, and I'm trying to eliminate some of that light um, so I don't get any blown out areas. So I've got my 16 to 35 mil lens. I've got my Nisi True Color CPL on there, which is set to take any of the glare off of the water uh, and, and darken that sky a little bit up in the corner. Uh, I've got my three stop medium GND in there, again with the holder turned to take some of the light off the cliffs over there. And I've got my six stop ND. And at the moment that is giving me uh, 20 seconds of exposure. ISO is at 50 and the F stop is at 11. So what I'll do is I'll buzz you around a moment so you can take a look at the composition. You can see what it is I'm working with uh, and how I've tried to set it up. Okay, so the first thing you're probably going to notice from this viewpoint is that uh, obviously the, 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 the camera that I'm filming on doesn't give such a wide angle as the camera that I'm shooting with. So you can't really see uh, a lot of the foregrounds. Let me see if I can actually pan you down a little bit so you can get a, an idea of what's in front of me. And I am further back from the cliff than it looks. So there's that foreground with that, that shape in the cliff that I wanted to get for you. If we come up around this way, there's the other side of the headland. So we're, we're getting all of that in the image. Uh, and partway across here, over here where the cliffs are too. But my main interest is obviously this sea stack in the middle. And I'm also quite taken with this little cluster of rocks down here, which gives a nice line. Uh, and there's a nice shape in there to those rocks. Some beautiful movement of that water over the, uh, the top of the rocks. Obviously, there we go in the background is, is Carter's Rocks over at Holywell Bay. So basically what I've done is, is I've positioned that sea stack in the center of the image. Um, and I've, I've pretty much focused on that, to be honest with you, because that's where I want all the detail to be. Should get a nice sharp image from front to back with that. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, like I said, some beautiful movement down there amongst those rocks. It's looking quite nice on the back of the camera screen. If I can uh, just remind myself of what I've done. Some beautiful, beautiful movement in there. So all I'm waiting for really is, is that light to soften just a little bit. There is some cloud coming over and we're just gonna wait for that light to soften a little bit. And, and then hopefully we're gonna get a really nice image out of this. Um, plenty of seagulls down there again. So I don't know if you can see them on the camera flying through the, uh, the frame, but uh, that's basically what we're doing. I want the shape of the bay. 
uh, the detail in the cliffs over here to the right hand side and the detail of those rocks and that sea stack in the middle of the image and the movement of that water so hopefully that image is going to come out looking pretty nice uh, except what i've got on the back of the screen is looking pretty good so um once i've edited that up i will pop that up on the screen for you to take a look at So I hope you enjoyed that image. Um, I, I don't think that this particular um, composition is going to work very well in a, in a portrait image, so um, I'm not going to even bother to try it uh, for this. I think it's, it's worked really well in that in that landscape image, that landscape composition. So um, I think what we'll do, um, because we are, well, about half an hour now from sunset, uh, I want to move around the cliffs a little bit further uh, and try some other compositions from the other side. Um, again, probably looking into this cove, there's a couple of shots, there's a, a sea stack further out to sea that we've seen before from Trevellis Cove. Um, uh, I just want to have a look and see what other, other compositions I can find that um, to vary things up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to pack all this gear down and we're going to move around the cliffs a little bit further. Uh, and hopefully in that meantime, that light was going to soften a little bit. We might get some extra color in the sky. Um, difficult to know at the moment what it's actually doing, but there's some really heavy cloud around the outside here. The cloud over Holywell Bay seems to have thinned down a little bit, but um, the cloud out here, there's definitely a cloud bank out on, a bank of a cloud out on the horizon. And um, we're just going to have to wait and see what we come up with, really. But um, let's get all this packed down. Let's move around the cliffs a little bit further, go to the other side and see what compositions we can find from over there. So I don't know how well you can see any of this, but can you see that sun just poking through that bit of cloud over there? Um, now, I've already set up to take this shot because it was all happening so quickly and I didn't have time to talk you through it as I was doing it. But um, that, that sun, as you can see, that cloud has moved across now and the sun has dropped into that. And that little gap, remember I was talking about those gaps in the cloud. There's one of those little gaps in the cloud and there is some beautiful, beautiful light in there. So I'm just trying to make the most of that whilst it's there. There is a possibility that there's a bit of a gap just below that cloud that we might get some light at sunset. Um, I don't really know at the moment. As you can see, that, there's that sea stack down there yet again, um, the one that we were shooting from the other side a moment ago. That's looking really nice. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. That's, that's looking really good. I, I'm, I'm currently, I don't know if you can see that, I'm shooting a portrait orientation. Um, same, I, I've actually changed back to my 24 to 105 mil lens for this shot. Um, the 16 to 35 was going to be a little bit too wide. I wanted to get it a little bit tighter. So 24 to 105. I've got my Nisi True Color CPL set up on there. I've got my Nisi three stop medium GND just to take the glare out of that sky a little bit. Uh, and I've got my six stop ND in there to get me a, a bit of a long exposure. So I'm currently shooting at uh, 15 seconds of exposure, ISO 50 uh, and F11 as usual. Um, all nicely focused. I'm just going to try and grab a another shot of that at a moment because I don't know what, what light and color I'm going to get later on. So, um, but that's working really well. I mean, we've, we've got the, the, the sea stack down here below us uh, and those rocks that we can see from the other side uh, are just here below us as well. They're, they're in the frame. They're, they're looking quite nice. Uh, and that rock just out there on its own, I believe that's called Borden's Rocks. Um, I don't think you can see it on the screen, but there is actually two of them. There's obviously the larger one and then there's a the smaller one just in front of it, which kind of from this angle, it gets lost a little bit against its, its bigger neighbor. Um, but when you're the other side, when you're, you're St. Agnes side, looking back up the coast, you can see the separation between the two of them. You can see the, the bigger and the, and the smaller rock. Um, so let's just have a quick look at this. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I'm really, really pleased with that. That's looking really good. So uh, I'm going to, obviously I'm going to take that, I'm edit that up. I will, I will get that one sorted out and I'll put that up on the screen for you now to take a look at. that sun again another one of those little gaps in the cloud so what I've done this time uh, yeah I'm liking that so what I've done this time uh, again camera look still in, in, in portrait orientation still got the same setup true color CPL three stop medium GND six stop ND but what I've done and that was one of the reasons that I transferred over to the 24 to 105 one of the things I've done is, is getting a lot tighter to Borden's rocks out there so I've got uh, a nice simple shot of the rocks with that sun in the backdrop. I can hear an aircraft. Now we might get buzzed at any moment because in actual fact, right behind you 
is Perranporth Airfield. And when the aircraft come into land, they quite often come in straight across the top of here. So um, I don't know whether that aircraft is actually coming into to land or what he's going to do, but we might get buzzed in a moment. Anyway, I just want to grab another shot of this in a moment. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, that's, that's looking really nice. The, 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 I've taken a couple of test images there. It's looking quite good on the back of the camera. So, um, as you can see, there is quite a thick bank of cloud out there still. I don't think we're going to get much light once the sun is actually set, but um, that's just one of those things. I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to come out as a, as a really nice minimalist shot with the, the sea stacks out there uh, and that, uh, that light in the sky. And yeah, that's looking pretty nice. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So settings wise, and I'm just readjusting at a moment because it's a little bit too bright. So I'm at ISO 50 again, uh, F11, and I've just reduced that to 15 seconds of exposure because I was on 25, it's just a little bit too bright. So that areas that sky are starting to blow out. So I've just reduced that down uh, a fraction. So we'll see how that comes out, but um, it, it's looking really nice. I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna come out really well. Uh, and then actually I, I've spotted another composition, which you won't be able to see for a moment, but I'll show you. Yeah, that's looking good. I'll show you in a second anyway. Uh, it's a composition looking along these cliffs back towards um, St. Agnes. Um, I'll get that set up in a moment once, once this is done. Um, I, I don't really hold out much hope for any sunset light tonight, but but there we go. So again, that image I've just taken, uh, I'll get that edited up and I'll pop that up on the screen for you to take a look at. Okay, so I've moved uh, a few feet along the path to, uh, to get my next composition. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to shoot the, the shape of this bay here in the headland out behind. Um, again, shooting in a portrait orientation. Um, same setup with the filter still, Nisi True Color CPL, three stop medium GND, six stop ND. Although with the way the light is dropping, I may have to change over to my three stop ND shortly, but this, this is actually working quite well. I've got a really nice shape which you can't see from where you are, but there's a really nice shape and curve to that bay uh, going out with the, the rocks I've got in the foreground. With the camera set up over here, where it is, uh, I've got that view of the, of the foreground down there. Now, uh, settings wise, settings wise, uh, I am at one minute, 30 seconds of exposure, ISO 50 uh, and F11 as usual. Um, but that's, that's giving me some really nice light in that image. It's giving me a nice shape and curve to that bay. Um, and it's just looking really nice, despite the fact that that cloud is, is obviously not going to light up. Um, although having said that, there are some pinky bits in the sky around, but I don't think it's going to do much more than that, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but that's, that, I, I really like the look of that shot looking back there towards St. Agnes. Uh, and I really like as well the fact that I've managed to capture those, those rocks that were in the foreground of the previous images. Um, I've excluded the, the bigger sea stack from this image because I don't think it works very well. So I, I've, I've come just inside of that sea stack to take this shot. Um, I have angled the, the holder with the, the, the CPL and the GND and the, uh, the, the ND slightly towards that sky where the sun has set because that light is still quite bright from over there and there are still some blown out highlights in there. Um, and obviously I want to try and reduce those in camera rather than having to try to worry about them when I get home in post-processing. So I always try and do as much as I can in camera when I'm on location, but um, that's, that's looking really nice. There's some really nice textures in there, the nice curve of that bay, uh, a nice long exposure, and that's, that's looking really good. So again, I'll pop that image up on the screen for you to take a look at. Well, that's it for another video folks um, i hope you've enjoyed it uh, i hope you've got something out of it it's um it's amazing really how much you can find how much you can do in a very small area we, we really haven't come very far this evening we've come from one side of the cove to the other um i had hopes we've gone further down the coast but um really wasn't worth it with the where the light has dropped off so so the, any images that I've taken from this side will, will be it. Um, I have taken a couple of longer exposure images, one was about five and a half minutes um, whilst I was packing away. So uh, I'll pop that up at the very end and I, I might well pop all the rest of the images up again in, in one block for you to take another look at. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll see, I'll see you when I get home. Um, please do consider smashing a like on the video. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all very much for your support, likes, comments, shares. Um, Thank you to those of you who have ordered a calendar. It's very much appreciated. Um, I will be in touch as soon as those are ready to go. Um, so hopefully we get some decent weather over the next week. I can get out and shoot another video or maybe a couple of videos for you and uh, we'll see how we get on. 
in the meantime thank you ever so much for tuning in and i'll see you all again soon